Hello and welcome back to Starfield. We are going to continue um, our job um, at the Kelt Corp um, until I mean I need to upload a program at Kelt Corp. Um, ideally, I need to do this without getting caught. So. One corporation is Raiju, Raiju com Company wants me to upload some scandalous information at Kelt Corp. So I've been here before. Uh, I don't know if they'll let me in. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Ooh, okay. I thought she was going to stop me at the door. So I need to do this without getting caught. I don't know if I can. Um, let me, hmm, let me quick save, and then I'll boop boop here. Oh, and then I have to do this. Great. I don't think I've ever gotten it on the first try. Upload program. Return to uh, Mojin at the Raiju Tower. Shipping order status. Okay. Glad you're doing that, not me. Nobody saw Sam, you're gonna get us caught. What did you do? You're like the worst stealth. You, did you knock all this down? Come on. What is this? Come on, Sam. Let's get out of here before they before they get mad. Go report back in. Oh, look at that. He's joined me in the elevator. Okay, where is she? I guess she's still at the same spot. Who are you? Hey, it's the newbie. <sighs> this report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogen's a stickler for details. Technician. And that's what I was afraid technician. of. Technician. I just hate As technicians, we handle prep and post op work. It's anxiety. Beginnings and ends, as it were. I know what you mean, but that's your You're interrupting me. Right is this time accounted All for? Right. Oh, excuse you. It's not. Yeah, I put a request. I don't care if it is or not. What do you mean, accounted for? We're on a for? strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. Uh, it's not. Then I will remind you that the schedule exists for a reason, and we seem to be ignoring it. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. She doesn't have to know. It's just hallway conversation, and we don't need to document everything. You may have a point. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a... Um, Minor indiscretion. Of course. I might be able to help you with this minor indiscretion. Is there something we need to discuss with management? Contractually, yes, but I'd rather avoid the embarrassment. Mm. Normally, I do a good job of setting boundaries between work and life. This incident is... an exception. Alright, what you good. need? I'm Let me give almost you some sorry background. I stopped to talk to you. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. Comfort. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Ha ha ha. Um, why you trust me? It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Fine. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Huang? Discarded items are her specialty. Okay. So, she may have come across the slate herself. We'll see. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. And I will pay you for the time. Alright. Sounds good. As you were. Alright. We'll talk to her later. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? 
Uh, no incidents to report. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. Yeah. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Ooh, yes. I get it. Clean work equals maximum payout? You can't seriously expect me to be flawless in a job like this. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Okay. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Uh, Laredo's hands are going to look pretty dirty. It, if this means success for me, I'll do it. Where do I need to leave this evidence? The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks. I trust you can be smart about it. Oh, the best part is we don't even have to fabricate this information. Oh. We're just exposing what Laredo would rather keep hidden. I gotcha. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Oh, she gave me two digipics, too. Travel to Aquila City. Great. I need to go there for a tree. Come, Sam. Well, before I go there, let's grab this guy's slate. Balancing the books? Oh, yeah. This is what we need. Um, I have to recover a slate that was classified intel. So this is somewhere we need to go and find for the jerk who uh, lost it. You got a problem? Still have these guys laying around? Nobody cleaned up the bodies yet? Welcome to Chunks. Please choose your Chunks. This guy better make it worth my while to come and get this sleet. So it seems like anybody with an actual name, you can talk to, and they might... Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Oh my gosh. And they might have a, uh, a side quest for you to do. If you got any spare creds, I can always take them off your hands. Mm, yeah. Hey, Chief, you got any creds you can spare? Um, here. Thank you kindly. You're a class bass, you know that? Class I'll do best. my best to someday pay you back. Streets honor. This isn't a donation, it's an investment. Ryutech wanted me to know if you had found any slates. Oh, I totally did. Found it in the dumpster right next to a half-eaten chunk. And it was perfect timing, really. You see, the other day, the wind got a nasty cough and blew away all of my business spreadsheets. But that won't happen with this slate. It's like... Wind resistant. Oh. I can find your old spreadsheets in exchange for the slate. You keep spreadsheets? I do. I write them on napkins you get from the eateries, and I use sauce packets for ink. It's not a perfect system, but it's pretty damn close. Hmm. Find you. That would mean I don't have to start over. All right. Deal. Oh. 
I lost them near the employee break area. Look for any papers near the ground, the tables, maybe even the roof. You find all three spreadsheets, and I'll give you the slate. Okie dokie, artichokey. Where the heck am I going? Holy shit! What are we freaking out over? Alright. Let's go find her spreadsheets. Is there one in here? Oh my gosh. There's one. There's two. Uh, she said on the roof. God dang it. How the heck do I get up there? Okay, so I was going about it. God dang it. I was going about it the wrong way. So you come this way. And don't fall. There we go. Alright, we got all three pieces. Pieces of paper. Got any creds to spare? Hey, Chief. I found them. Wow, that's real class of you, Chief. A plus stuff. Now I can get my books sorted, executive style. As promised, your slate. Tell your techie friend I didn't peek inside. And even if I did, I don't know what half of it says anyway. Oh, okay. Good for you. So let's return the slate to the technician at right Rigen. Okay, hey dude, I have How your goes slate. The slate. What is it? Eric. Well done. You know It seems assigning you to this task was time well spent. I just saved and your as I button. Said, That's how you gonna you talk to me? Time is money. Hopefully these credits will serve as adequate compensation. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an operative to debrief. Not bad. Two thousand credits. And a level up. Alright. So let's see. I, um, the next thing to do is that they want me, the Raijin company wants me to travel to Aquila City. I do need to go there. There is some other stuff that, um, I need to get. There's some medical supplies I also need to get, uh, for the medical place in here. Uh, this is the branch that I also, I think that's in Aquila City. But honestly, um, I haven't done any of the main quests, and I at least want to try to start getting the actual people. So I started getting Barrett a little while back. I think it's I think it's time to go and save him. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's go this way. Open planet map. Let's scan. What is that? Research outposts. And there's a civilian outpost. But we need to rescue Barrett. Extreme environment. Good to go for landing. Once we rescue Barrett, we'll um, continue our Raijin job. Extreme so- I'm dying apparently. 
What do I have on? As per usual, I'm taking the worst way possible. Not like they didn't see me coming. Like, my ship is, like, right there. Look! Do I have anything that will... Extreme solar radiation. My suit is depleted. My suit protection depleted. Extreme ambient cold. You know what? Can't do anything about it. Let's just go. Ah! Ransacked research outpost. Who is shooting me? Let me see if I can get my sniper. Oh, wrong thing. Sam! It's not gonna be your day because you keep having a hard time. Yep. can grab these people up here. And what they have. Is there any med packs? Delgado's directive? That means outpost key? Ooh, that'll be handy. Oh, ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry. Shock troop spacesuit jacketed leather wear. I don't know what that does, but it sounds cool. Sam. My head. Where's this person at? Eat this! Oh, oh, this all you got? Sam, you deal with that guy. I am going to do all this stuff. Toxin, I don't know what that is. We'll take it. Okay. Sam, did we get them all? Grizzly, that's part of the job. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I did get a key card, so that's kind of like the most important thing. Shotgun shells. There's a safe right there. 
I don't want any mines. Can I open this? Got it! Credits and ship repair fundamentals? I don't know what that does, but I hope it uh, helps me. What is this? <gasps> I want it. It's a plushie? Plushy galactic cat. <gasps> Look how stinking cute this is. And it, oh my gosh. I love it. All right, let me get out of here. Can I get out of here? Where where do I go? This is like a break room. So worth going in there. All right. What? Oh my gosh! Was, that worm scared me. God dang it! Where do I go? Over here? Crimson Fleet Outpost. Okay, so we're in close quarters. Let me get something. certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? Is he having, like, a fantastic time no in here? This time. Hmm. A unicorn. Not kidding. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound. I'm just taking all this stuff. He, I mean, it looks soul. like Chris's journal entry. Skill bonus acquired. What does that do? Hold on. Store prices are permanently reduced by 2% and you permanently sell items for 2% more on top of any other bonuses. Nice. Barrett doesn't look like he's in immediate danger, so you know what? He can, he can hold on a second. Hi. You having fun in here? Holy shit. You actually found me. Now, why did I get a feeling this is what we'd find? <laughs> it's good to see you, Barrett. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. Are you friends with the pirate? Matsuo the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Oh. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. I'm here to take you home. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsuo the Grim here is a great host. I'm sure. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsuura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? Kind of, yeah. You clearly get along with Barrett. You're friends. 
He has been more entertaining than most hostages. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I know there's a way to get past this. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, I got a diplomacy. You'll look back on this later and wonder what we were arguing about. I don't see how. Enough. Oops. <laughs> oh, I well. I must insist on payment for Barrett's release. Uh, 4,000 credits here. That settles that. Goodbye, Barrett. I have enjoyed our time together. Likewise, Matsur. Good luck with all the, uh, you know, pirating. He's too big to be stuck in the same place. What you got over here? Hey, Bert. I mean, I just kind of took got out. Nothing to say to you. Uh, yeah, you got nothing to say to me either. Give me a med pack. At least you owe me that. Are y'all coming? Sam is. Barrett's like, hmm. Come on, dude. I want to know what this civilian outpost is. Just, just, what is that? No life signs nearby. Just another dead rock. Huh. Civilian outpost. I just wanted to see what this is. There's a robot. I mean, I hear ships. Whoa, <laughs> that's so gross. Hold on, let me scan stuff. So we have Barrett and um, it wants me to go back to the lodge. I want to see what's up here first, though. I don't guess there's anybody in here. Oh, there is. Hello. Things out here always need homesteader, but at least no one's telling me what to fix. if there's actually somebody to talk to or uh oh hello what you see is what you get practical builds to last john going you down i may be willing to buy can you oh repair my ship here can you huh? repair my ship your ship is in excellent shape that's surprising I anything that needs repairing. uh do you need any help we're not hiring if that's what you but if you're looking for work, take a look at our mission board. There are always contracts for a ship and a crew. Okay. What do you have for sale? Out here, you can't ask for a better selection. So there's a shop, and she just has weapons and ammo, spacesuits. I mean, it's... But, uh, I mean... I'm not gonna... I don't really have you anything to sell right now. Like. Just don't steal anything. But that's cool to know that they have this here. What is this? That's fancy. Okay, so there's nobody in here? Oh wait, there's a person right here. Who are you? Hello. Homesteader, homesteader. I'm just... Don't mind me, I'm just looking at your stuff. They have mission board. Okay, so they have the mission boards and they have the self serve stuff. Control console. Control console. What? Can you imagine? No, I cannot imagine drawing a. There. Interesting. So, what? There's my ship. Who's this? 
you need your ship better. repaired, find my associate. I break ours just by thinking about it. Okay, that's cool. Um, before I go to the lodge, I do want to go to Aquila because there is something that I need there first before going back to Jemison. Plant the confidential files at the... Yeah. I'll do that. While I'm here, I'll find... I'll do that. I also need to make my way back to Mars to give that kid his book. What? Kila City. Ah, Kila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. This mud pit. I do like it, though. Uh, Co, Co Heritage Museum? There's a loophole. You just have. Hi! Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Oh boy, what is this? And why is it glitchy? Um, the double horn. I'm assuming. <laughs> assuming that goes in the display case? Or somewhere? Not here. Okay. So, Sam, this is like a museum about your your people? I'm assuming? Hmm. Seems a little, a little broken. Oh, are you welcome to the Co Heritage Museum? I offer a brief tour and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. Oh, I can keep my eyes open for things for your museum. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally, but I would pay a lot for. Ooh. You see, the Coe family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago, and those documents would be priceless to have here. <laughs> those old things. Huh. I can see why you want them for the museum. Their absence pains me. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was a troubled man. Hmm. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. Troubled is a charitable way of putting it. Great-grandpa was a walking disaster. He almost lost everything, family estate included. Those documents she's talking about, they're real. We even have a few that survived. Okay. Your father donated what was left to the museum. <laughs> Jacob did what? I didn't think charity was in his vocabulary. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Okay, I'll keep my eyes Thank open. You. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. Um, I found something for your museum. I already have something? I don't know what I have. What did I pick up? Let me see. Oh dear lord. It's real. It, it still exists. This is the original charter for Aquila City. And you oh. can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core that that philosophy that of had? limited government and inalienable rights. All here. Thank you. you if that. you find anything else, please come back. 3,000 credits? Sounds good to me. Um, here. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. I'm helping Mast, yes. I'm more private, okay. I'm more of a private contractor, more working freelance? Most in the collective aren't overly fond of Mast or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Lost a cousin in the colony war, you know. Oh. Hey, I get it, but we have to collectively let go of this feud with the UC. And besides, this is really just about a tree and someone who is really, really attached to it. <laughs> Are you defending the UC? I must say, I expected more from a co. 
Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Ma'am! Convince her to hand over the tree branch or steal it. Your help in preserving and sharing a key Hold on. the Bef museum is before all- Before I, like, talk her- Please open to you. If you find any more of the co family's legacy, I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. I can be very annoying when I need to be, and if you don't give it to me, the branch won't stop ta asking for it. Go on. Oh. Keep asking. I still won't hand it over. You are a bitch. We seem to be talking, take, talking past each other, but I'm sure we can come to an understanding about this. That's oh, all shoot. just talk. Doesn't change anything. I know you have your reasons. I'm just trying to help. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I've already made myself clear. I can't just hand out museum exhibits to anyone. It doesn't work that way. If this isn't some sort of hustle, go talk to Earl Fulton. I believe he may still have some leftover scraps. That, of course, is a different kind of hustle altogether. Speak to Earl? Maybe I'll go talk to him. Ma'am, I am helping you out with your museum, and you can't give me a sample of a tree branch? Ugh. Let's see if I give you anything else. Maybe I'll have better luck with Earl. If not, I will, um... Sinclair books, though. I'll... I'll reload and try to talk to her again. This is just what the stretch needs. More down on your luck out of this. Honest Earl's alien extravaganza. Oh boy. Welcome, welcome. Let me ask you a simple question, friend. Are you prepared to see something so wondrous and strange that you're sure never to forget it? Uh, sounds interesting. With pleasure. We got animals from the deepest, darkest corners of the settled systems. What you you'll see side will show? delight and amaze. Just a modest fee and you can feast your eyes. I envy you truly for this opportunity. Leo Castro says you would you have wood from a new Atlantean tree. Confound that woman. I paid good credits for that lumber, which, by the way, she was just going to throw out, and she has no right to say otherwise. Why, if I had a receipt, I would gladly produce it. And after all that, none of my exotic beasts would even touch the stuff. In the end, I'm the one who was robbed. New Atlantis may be in danger, and the wood is crucial to saving it. Don't say. I'll buy it from <laughs> you. Well, dude. my friend, you will be happy to know that this is your lucky day. I do indeed still happen to have some of that exquisite hardwood and would be willing to part with it for just a few credits. All right. I'm thinking perhaps mm, 500 credits ought to cover the storage expenses, not to mention what it'll take to purchase alternate food supplies for my exhibits. <laughs> I think that's a more than fair deal, don't you? just said the pe they wouldn't touch it. Didn't you just say it was worthless to well, you? No, not at all. It, it may not at present appeal to any of my attractions and inhabitants, but I never know what wonders I may acquire in the future. Uh, all right. It would just be bad business to part with it and not expect some amount of compensation. <laughs> Surely you can understand that. All right, here. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Now, let me just see if I can locate some of that wood. Ah, here you are. Well, pleasure doing business with you, friend. Take care now. I can read the sign. <laughs> of course you can. But can you believe your senses? Uh, Princess, what do you have? From the furthest reaches of the settled system. What the heck is in here? Here? In this stretch? Yes, right here, right now. Things you would miss. Wow, what? What a scam. All it is is bones. Fine, big shot. See if 
real animals? Or is it just all bones? What is this? Oh my gosh. He's got one or two real animals. Poor thing. Look at that. Like a little pig. What is this? Carl? His name is Carl? Who's this? Blumux? Somehow I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Alright. So, let's see. Deliver the tree branch to Kelton. But before I go, I want to do this for the Raijin Company. Since we're on Aquila anyways. I mean... Uh, what? No, I, I don't have Dunlop's disease. Dunlop's disease? Your belly Dunlop over your belt. Asshole. <laughs> that was... That was a good joke. <laughs> uh, is this love fi the firearms place? I gotta plant evidence against these people? There's not enough to do around here. Oh, man. Yeah, well. Aquila is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. Good for you. Just do your business and move along. Uh. Then we'll be all friendly like. Okay. Just here for Miss Lance is the one you want to speak to. I'm pleased you chose to visit us today. At least you're nice. The guy isn't so much. So let's see. Everybody's down there. Oh shoot. Who are you? CS floors downstairs. Who are you? Laredo. Oh. Laredo employee. Oh no, she's following me. Door locked. So how am I going to get in here unnoticed? I saved. So can this guy... Does he notice if I try to pick the lock? There it is. Okay. Chess? steal from chess? What do I have to do? Hold on. Plant the confidential files at the Laredo Farms in Aquila City. Inventory miscellaneous confidential files store return to all right Sam let's get out as long as nobody's like actually looking at you you can basically get away with it where is this I don't even know where I'm going Not at, like, Skyrim, you can't, you can't do anything if, like, a, a guard is, like, halfway across the town, they see you. Alright, so, I'm not gonna return to the Raijin Company, I am, I need to go, uh, deliver the tree branch, oops, and then talk to Barrett at the lodge. I hope Aquila City has what we need. Well, here. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? I did, and she wasn't the greatest. I got this branch from Earl Fal Fulton. Hopefully it works. I don't think Leah likes me so much. Well, I'm sure she'll get over it. Or perhaps you could simply avoid Aquila City. Maybe the entire Freestar Collective. No great loss there. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Right? So we'll feed Wait him a sample. Wait for Kelton? 
Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size... That tree's as big as the rock. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. Okay. I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Speak to Galton. So, we now have a simulated response to our Did you figure it out? All that's left is to play it. I don't have much of a singing voice, but I can try. Oh, I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Okay. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. Madison, exposure to the frequency in this simulation could be potentially harmful. Are you sure we should do this? You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects, but none would be life-threatening. But you want we me to do it? We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well... I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. All right. I have no doubt that you will. Uploaded audio to SSSSSS terminal. Where is that at? Gorgeous weather today, huh? Is that Sarah? Sarah, what are you doing off Hi. the sh Sarah. Yeah, what can I help you with? Um, what's the I and who's Vladimir? Do you have anything interesting for me, Sarah? I should start charging for my services. You're the one nutrient sap? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Okay. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Talk to you later. Okie dokie. Did, I, I wasn't expecting her to, to see her out here. You can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. SSNN is supposed to be impartial. Girl. But I think the UC's got a finger on the Ooh, scale. Oh, David Barron, you got a fangirl outside. If you ever... Find yourself with a hot lead. We will do our best way. to protect your anonymity. Broadcast. Run diagnostic. Upload diagnostic file. Run a diagnostic. Return to the tree. Part has been about it. Okay, so why is it returned? I am returning to the. I, I'm by the tree. I can't talk to Kelton. The SSN broadcast is talking. Okay, you're listening to the Seattle System News Network. Like, you just have to kind of hang around here. It. I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. Please. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. What happens now? I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. 
With okay. the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. Great. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. Victory in my book. Not bad. Credits are pretty good. And he can he he can finally sit down. Look at that. Alright, let's go back to the lodge and talk to uh blah, 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 the end of Vladimir. Talk to yeah. Talk to Barrett. I'm not a fan of the UC, but this here, it's a little patch of heaven. Hey, Barrett. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Barrett, we were worried sick. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, okay. given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled They're space. It might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting yes so hey I, i'm still not a hundred percent plus i feel guilty dragging you into all i didn't mean to press on the Why robot earlier help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe traveling together sounds good to me i think it's better we go on our ways if you're coming with me who's in charge of the frontier it doesn't really matter to me we never get too attached to ships after the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned the romance fades Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Okay. Um, okay. See you later. Um, what does it want me to do? Talk to Barrett? Okay, but... Can I just put him on my ship? Do I have room for that? I don't remember how to set stuff. Okay, dude, come on. You feel it a bit. Can't you? Yes, I can. I, I need to Ever talk since to I you. found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent. Plus, I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. Sounds good Marvelous. to me. Barrett is available for your crew. Barrett is now your active companion. Sam, where are mm -hmm. you going? Oh, he just walked away. Is he going back to my ship? Because I think he's part of my ship. There we go. Crew. Okay. Barrett, unassigned. Sam. Ship. Adoring fan. Can I? Oh, I do have room. Okay, Star Eagle, Jimison. Okay. I can always shove the adoring fan somewhere else. We'll take Barrett with us. Sam's going, probably going back to the Lately, ship. I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has the a robot. Yes. Service, Captain. Uh, I could use you on the crew. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Um, I'm going to put him on my ship also. You have reached the maximum number of crew assigned with your current ship command level. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, we rescue Barrett. Um, I would be more useful to you aboard your ship I than idling that. here awaiting tasks. I would love to take you, Pasco, but I can't put it. You know what? I might put the adoring fan somewhere else and take the robot. Um, this seems like a good, good trade-off. Um, I'm going to end the episode here. 
I'll probably switch the adoring fan, put him on an outpost, and then take the robot with me. But we got another piece of that. We're going to continue with the Raiju, um, whatever the, the job that I have going on, and we will go from there. So thank you, everybody who has joined me. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you Hello guys there, next Vasco. time. Bye. Greetings, Walter Strip.